Some of you may ask me, Etika, why the fuck are you doing a topic like this? This is definitely something that's not as tasteful as the other topics that you covered, but considering the history of my channel, I mean, this shouldn't surprise a lot of you older people, but a lot of you new guys might be a little bit confused. Still, the reason why I'm covering this is because, one, it's very interesting in a lot of different ways, and two, there's a lot of stereotypes when it comes to women that live in Japan. You know, they have bad teeth. They usually have small cup sizes and whatnot, and I feel like this is really good news and something that a lot of people should be aware of when moving forward. Let's be honest here, a lot of people who are in my age group have grown up with a lot of stigma of Japan and, you know, a lot of Japanese influence in their culture as well, too. And we gotta be honest, man, some of you may not like anime and whatnot, but Japanese influence has had some hand in your growth and development from you being a kid up until being the age that you are now. Let's be real here. So, I mean... Right now, we have this article which is talking about breast sizes in Japan, and they're actually increasing. Um, this is the first time I've actually quoted an article from Niche Gamer, so I mean, shout outs to these guys. They seem like a very interesting kind of um, place for that other deviant kind of news, so I might be using these guys as a little bit of a source later on if I find anything that gives me reason to talk to you guys, but um. Yo, <clears throat> this shit looks interesting, man. It looks fucking interesting. I want to learn about Japanese bra sizes, man. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. So, oh, man, we, we, we can't go wrong with Hitomi Tanaka in the fucking article as well, too. That's a plus. But um, we've learned via My Navi News that female breast sizes in Japan are increasing despite what some long-standing stereotypes might say. And we all know this, man. There's a lot of stereotypes when it comes to a lot of different ethnicities. They're backed by somewhat fact but a lot of them are stereotypes in the sense that they're not really all that real they're not really provable across the board when you do actual studies into them the results don't necessarily always support the stereotype itself but um let's be real here man the stereotype is that japanese girls got small tits japanese dudes got small dicks that's not the case all around man i mean i've seen a lot of porn in my day <laughs> i've seen a lot of porn in my day and they told me tanaka is definitely not the only example of Japanese girls with large cleavage. And, you know, I mean, and, you know, this is not to say that, you know, I'm necessarily scoping out dudes' dicks in the porns I watch, but, I mean, I've seen Japanese porn, and I've seen some Japanese men, a few, who are definitely more well-endowed than others. So, I mean, it's like, hey, man, stereotypes are one thing, but when it comes down to the facts, you can't necessarily say it's a blanket statement for everybody. So, um... Uh, let, me, let me see here. Okay, so we learned, blah, blah, blah. Um, Triumph International Japan, a multinational underwear. And, and here's the thing, right? Don't at, the, at Japanese schools, don't they measure these girls' bra sizes? Um, I've seen that. Like, Isn't that a practice at Japanese schools regularly to like take measurements and whatnot so you can know how much you grow? And they, I guess they could take the averages of that and the averages of that and know like if the breast sizes are increasing in Japan or not. It's, it's got to be the milk. <laughs> it's got to be the fucking milk. Um... Triumph International Japan, a multinational underwear and lingerie company, has recently released their Underwear White Paper Volume 15, a survey of trends in 2014. The company conducted a survey every other month on their homepage since the year 2000. Every fiscal year, the results are announced in the Underwear White Paper Volume, which was released in May. Tradition, oh, transitions in cup sizes reveal that in 2014, business in bras was changing, with 26.3% going to C cups and D cups taking in 24.1%. Sales of E cups and F cups have increased as well. Sales of A cups were 5.3%, which is a decrease. F cup sizes were 6%, which is an increase compared to the sales of A cups. Really now? If we compare the survey with the results from 2000, A and B cup sizes have fallen, going from 45.6% down to 25.8%. On the other hand, compared to the 2000's result of 24.6% for D and E cups, 2014 survey reveals a 15% increase for them. If we compare the results to 1980s averages, we see that over 30 years, cup sizes have increased. That is incredible. <laughs> Very good shit. I like it. I like it. This is great news. I mean, it's, it's interesting news, isn't it? I, I know it's not necessarily stuff that you condone. Maybe some of you, some of you guys are more sensitive than others. But I mean, it's interesting in the least. It is. The fact that an entire nation's bra size is growing. I guess maybe you can mean that plastic surgery is becoming rampant, but how would you be able to emulate those numbers across such a massive scale with just plastic surgery, especially considering it's a relatively expensive operation to some people? Draw sizes in Japan are growing, man. It's 
pretty soon, I think maybe in another 30 years, we won't be able to talk crap about Japanese girls having small boobs anymore because they won't. Like, every girl will be stacked like Hitomi Tanaka, or at least somewhat. <laughs> this is awesome news, man. Hilariously awesome news. Um, pretty soon, some of you guys who do prefer bigger boobs in Japanese porn will be able to have that fulfilled for you on a much wider scale. But even though there, there are plenty of there are plenty of busty Japanese um, adult video models out there, man. Hitomi Tanaka ain't the only one. But, um... Let's see, do larger sizes give more satisfaction? It entirely depends on the person themselves. You know, I mean, bigger boobs work for some people, they don't work for everybody. I like mine a certain size, too big and that, meh. Sometimes if I feel a little crazy, I can go for like bigger, bigger, bigger boobs, but I mean, it, 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 it varies, man, it varies. Um, when asked what the ideal size was, A and B cup women say that they want to be two cup sizes larger. D cup women say that either D or E cup size is ideal. God damn. So it, a lot of people feel that, you know, having those massive knockers is a, is what they want. I think a lot of people in America would disagree. Um, between A and B cup women, fewer than 20% of women polled said that they are their ideal size. Wow. Damn. Among C cup women, the number is 15 to 30. From all of the women polled, D cup women seem to have the most satisfaction at 37.1%. So girls with these massive knockers in Japan feel like, you know what, I am perfectly happy with this. My back pain don't matter. You know, the, the, the constant pull on my chest doesn't matter. It's fine. I have these massive tits. Most other people don't here in this nation. I'm good money. I can understand where they're coming from, man. In response to this troubling news, the translator would like to remind people of what Izumi Konada once said. Flat chests are a status symbol. Scarcity makes them valuable. Editors note images are of Japan AV actress Hitomi Tanaka. Um, guys, let me know what you think about this whole thing. I mean, I guess, you know, there's not really much of a place to have an opinion here. Japanese breast sizes are growing. My main concern is how. How are they growing? Is it, um, is it necessarily because um, Japanese, in terms of an ethnicity, is mixing with other ethnicities? Like maybe there's, you know, because there's more travel now, so more different um, nations are able to go to Japan. And maybe they're, you know, breeding with different in, uh, ethnicities. That could be a thing, you know, like you know, um, Japanese and white people, black people, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. I don't know, though. I wish this thing had like a reason, but all it can tell us is the actual numbers. Why do you think girls' breasts are growing in Japan? The average size of them, rather. Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. This thing does not work when I want it to work. There we go.